Morning everyone, it's David with davidspassage.com. Today we're continuing on in our wild edible plant series. Today we're looking at one of my absolute favorite wild edibles, wood sorrel. Stick around. So I gotta tell you what, I trekked long and hard to find this wild edible for you. Uh, actually, just kidding. <laughs> There's my house. <laughs> It's in my backyard and it's one of my favorite wild edibles because it is just everywhere. And it is one of those green plants that really tastes good just right on the trail. So this is wood sorrel. It's also known as oxalis. Sometimes people refer, refer to them as shamrocks. You know, and these grow from spring to fall. They have a very distinctive three leaf pattern off the stem and each one of those leaves looks like a heart, as you can see. Another th really neat thing about oxalis or um, wood sorrel is that there are no known poisonous lookalikes. So if you see something like this, and you can look at look at the characteristics, you're you're never going to see anything else that looks like it, and uh, they're completely edible. The best way in my mind to enjoy these is to just eat them right up. And this is one of the reasons why they are so good. They have a very, very distinctive citrus taste to them. And uh, that citrus taste is due to a, a chemical inside of it called oxalic acid. Now, just to sign kind of a warning, ox oxalic acid in large quantities is not good for you. But man, you nibble one of these off the trail, it's just kind of like a, it's kind of like that it's kind of like Trails Lemonade. I mean, you just you eat it and it's got that citrusy burst in your mouth, gives you a boost of energy. But because of that oxalic acid, you shouldn't eat large quantities of these. Add these to a salad to kind of spruce it up, give it kind of a citrusy taste, eat them right on the trail as sort of an energy boost because they are really delicious. And I think you probably have to eat a bucket of these in order to get sick from them. They do have a white flower that grows on, on them at some times. Boy, and I, I just love eating these things. Um, you know, and the nice thing about the fact they grow in my backyard, I kind of like to have, I like to eat veggies and stuff like that for lunch, salads, things like that. You just come out, pluck these. I've got garlic mustard growing out. I've got a bunch of things growing out in my backyard. You just pluck them, add them to a salad, and they are just absolutely delicious. Just an amazing plant to be looking out for. Boy, that citrusy taste is so good. Again, just sort of as a precaution, eating, eating large quantities of, of wood sorrel, probably isn't the best idea, you know, take it as you will. You know, I'm making this wild edible plant series in order to hopefully inspire you to do your own research. So always consult with a local expert before consuming any wild edible plant. Thank you so much for tagging along in this video. Appreciate it if you thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share the video. I wanna get the word out about a lot of these plants that people could be enjoying that they just sort of run into. And uh, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to connect with me on any social network. Just look up David's Passage on whatever social network you use. Love to connect with you. Love to hear how you use the plant. If you've ever used it in a dish or anything that's really good or know of any recipes you can use other than just eating it in salad or on the trail. I don't know many other ways to use a plant other than to just eat it or put it in a salad. So if you know of another way to use it, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video or we'll see you outdoors. Take care.